Welcome back. It's almost 8.15, and on our Fit for Life in April, is, of course, Dental Health Month, but it's just not your teeth that you have to take good care of. You also need to pay special attention to your gums. Periodontist Dr. Michael Glogauer is here to talk about the link between good gums and good overall health. Thanks so much for coming in, Michael. Good morning. So what is it? You've done uh, some breakthrough research, actually. You have a practice here in Hamilton, Correct. but you've also done research at the uh, University of Toronto. Correct. So I think um, the message we're trying to get out is that uh, there's an emerging body of research which shows that there's some, some very significant links between a number of uh, systemic health uh, diseases and oral health. And the diseases in particular are um, diabetes, uh, premature low birth weight infants, and cardiovascular diseases such as uh, heart attacks and strokes. Okay, what's the gum linkage here then? Is it bacteria getting into the bloodstream from the gums? Is that... Right, so that there, there are a number of, of theories behind it. I mean, I think uh, the, imp the important thing is, is that uh, one of the uh, most sort of significant um, links we see is, for example, in diabetes. And we see um, in, in our practice and in, in research, it's been shown that diabetics are much more susceptible to gum diseases. And the, the issue for them is regulating their glucose levels mm -hmm. in their blood. And we know that when they present with infections such as gum disease, it's very difficult for them to regulate uh, their glucose levels. And we've shown that if you treat their gum diseases, you, they can actually uh, dramatically reduce their glucose levels in their blood and in many cases actually reduce the amount of insulin that they have to take. So do you see that most people coming into your practice already have some sort of disease like this and it's kind of associated with gum disease? Right. So, um, right, so that's an excellent question. So, I mean, our practice is very specialized because we, we see patients who have severe, severe forms of gum disease. Mm -hmm. And so in, in oftentimes those patients, we see a lot of diabetics. And um, I think it's important we're trying to get the message out, particularly to diabetics, that if you're having trouble regulating your glucose levels, it's very important to visit your dentist. I mean, gum diseases, it, it's a group of conditions in the mouth where mm -hmm. gingivitis is one of the earliest forms. And that's kind of the most common form of gum disease, right. correct? I think one of the problems with gum disease is that, um, for the most part, it's painless. So people think if, in our society, if, you, if you're not experiencing any pain, you really you have no problems. I think uh, the message we're trying to get out to people is really um, they're preventable. And because they don't actually cause any discomfort, there's four very important steps that you need to carry out. One, it's very important that you visit your dentist regularly mm -hmm. because they'll be able to tell you if you are having any problems. And two, it's really to maintain optimal oral hygiene through brushing, flossing, and rinsing with an, an essential oil containing mouth rinse. Okay, so what do you do then if you, I, I guess you don't get transferred to a doctor like yourself, a, a gum doctor, periodontist, un, unless you've been uh, referred there by your family dentist. Well, right, so m most of our referrals certainly come from, from family dentists. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if somebody thinks that they have a gum problem, they're certainly welcome to come by and we can sort of help them out and do an, an exam and let them know if they are having any problems. But I think, you know, for the most part, I think it's important that people recognize that oral health is not just about teeth, it's about your overall well-being. Mm -hmm. And uh, just because, you know, you, you, you may not be in any discomfort, it would still be important for you to, to keep an eye on things and make sure that you're visiting your dentist regularly. And, and, and I've heard as well that uh, people who kind of have gum disease and, and don't realize it, you may feel sluggish and not really know why, and, th and that's part of the problem because all this gunk is kind of in your bloodstream, right? That's right. So, well, I think, you know, I think that we have to remember that, particularly for people with moderate to severe forms of gum disease, there's a very, very severe infection in the gums. Mm -hmm. And really the only sign you may have is that it may, it, you, you may have bleeding when you brush your teeth, as an example. Okay. You know, the gums may look a little bit red. And other than that, you're really not, you know, they're not as sort of severe symptoms. So okay. I think we're just trying to get that message out. All right. Get the message out to take care of your gums and your teeth. Get to your dentist and take a look. Dr. Uh, Michael Glogauer, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you.